Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, May 14th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here the ES is sitting right on key near term support here. This is going to be very, very important to see how the market proceeds from here. That support it's basically 2780, and uh, the market is is on either the precipice of a pretty significant breakdown from that level, which could take us down toward 2700 uh, today, or perhaps we would see a rejection of the previous session's low, and we may start a bounce back up and perhaps through recent highs as we continue to head higher within this uptrending channel. So right now we are kind of on the pullback phase. We have been mostly sideways over the last few weeks, but remain within an uptrend. And it all comes to a head kind of right here at 2780. A failure to hold 2780 again opens up some downside, uh, perhaps as low as 2700, or perhaps even lower. Right now we have from the high of the month here, we have the low that is forecasted at 2620 based on average monthly range over the last 10 months. So right now 2780 is very important. If there is a rejection at the previous low, a pop back above 2825, 2820 starts to open up a bit more upside in that scenario. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. Right now down about 1% at or near the lows of the day. Again, the NQ is on the verge, like the ES, of perhaps a pretty significant breakdown here, which could take us back to 8600 or perhaps as low as... Uh, 8340, 83, 90 is the 100% target here, and that is where recent support is as well. So right now, again, um, we had a pretty significant breakdown a couple days ago, a retest and decline day yesterday, and now we are seeing selling pressure. This could become another stop run day, where the midpoint of the day becomes right around yesterday's low, and we could see a big time drop back down toward 86.50, 86.75, perhaps even lower. So right now, uh, again, right on the zone here, and if the market can't remain or, or stay above 8,900 here, uh, that could lead to quite a bit more selling pressure. Now, on the flip side here, above 90.50 opens up more upside into 9,200. Okay, let's take a look now at crude oil. Crude oil right now, uh, seeing a little bit of a pullback from the pre-market highs. It was as high as 27.12. So finally, for the first time here, uh, price has gotten above 2700 after days and days of just missing it, just missing it since the rejection day. And 27.12, uh, the high here, it was rejected. 26.96, the previous session's high was a lower high rejection. Now we're back below uh, VWAP for the day. You can see this compression here, very significant compression. One, two, three, four, five, six days, seven, eight day compression now if you want to go that route. Uh, and if we were to come down here and again bring this up because we do have eight days, let's go ahead and look at the eight day quantification of this range. You'll see right there 51% of average range. It's 4.6 range, 4.6 points of range. It's usually eight and a quarter points of range. And if we break out from here, there's a, there's a shot to see about 10 handles of movement. So again, 10 handles of movement from where we currently are, or perhaps today's high, that would take us down to 17 again to take out these lows, or at least retest those lows. So again, 17 right in this zone right now. The high of the day is 27.12. What if that is the high? If it is the high, then we can forecast lower about 10 points over the next eight days. Uh, again, we don't know which way we're breaking out of here yet. We could easily break to the upside and see a move of, say, 10 handles from, call it 25 lows to 35 highs. So right now, it looks like we're right in the middle of this range, right at the middle here and we're building energy to make a move either to the previous high or the previous low and again speaking specifically for the July crude oil contract okay lastly let's take a look here at gold futures now gold has been on the verge of a major push higher 
for many days now and just hasn't really done it yet. Uh, the 60 minute chart looks very, very positive here from a bullish standpoint in that it has developed a pretty significant bullish rejection and it has happened right on the pullback phase here today which has occurred right there off the two day breakout highs and again uh, at yesterday's midpoint. So if we were to zoom in here a little bit, your two day breakout highs again right there. You have your previous session's midpoint, you get the breakthrough, and then you have your pullback right to that zone. These are bulls defending here for a shot at pushing higher. Again, the goal before was if we can get through 1715 here, it opens up 1740, 35 to 40, right? These previous highs. But if it gets through 40, we've had about a two to three week trading range that could then be seeing an upside break. This range here, if it gets through 40, or through 50 it starts to really open up the upside and perhaps we finally get that test into 1800 so right now we are at the highs here higher lows uh, very compressed pattern here but everything's been channeling higher, higher so far it's been holding at highs again staying above 1715 suggests that we could see uh, higher prices here so we'll see how that develops Here's the key, a failure to hold 1676 breaks this pattern and we could head right back to 1450 uh, with, a, with a pit stop here at 1575. So 1675 is going to be very, very important from uh, this larger standpoint. But from a shorter term standpoint right now, looking for a short term push higher within this range based off of how the market has been behaving the last few days. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.